<laughs> Let's move on to the uh, I liked every next part, part of the show. We're going to talk about uh, some uh, a new keyboard that we got. Razer just announced. Oh! Razer Black Widow Chroma 2 V2. And we're going to review it right now in a little segment we call Tech Commendations. Really getting all the legs out of that graphic. <laughs> we, we really should. Uh, the Razer Black Widow Chroma is Razer's best selling keyboard of all time. But now we have the Black Widow Chroma V2, which I'm being told is the second one. Uh, it boasts an update to the beloved original and at $170, we gotta ask, is it worth it? Joining us here to help answer that question is our resident gadget guru, Joey Thimian. He's here, he's behind the podium. Oh, he almost oh. dropped the product almost immediately. Joey, everybody, hey. yeah! Look at that. Here it is, it's shiny and making lights. It's, look at it! It's a bit it's beautiful. beautiful. It's a rainbow, it's beautiful. Okay, listen, uh, people who are ignorant and stupid and not my friends anymore, oh. they will say this looks like a Black Widow Chroma number one. It's not. It's, it's different. Not. It's different for many reasons, Joey. Uh, what makes this different from the original one? So the biggest thing that Razer's doing different with the Chroma V2 is that if if we take these little keycaps off right yes. here, you see these switches? It's okay. You throw you them on the ground. Throw Thanks them everywhere. Sending the keyboard, Thanks. Razor. Hey, really? Razer, I love all your stuff. Okay. So normally the Black Widows have always had these green Razer proprietary mechanical switches. Yes. But now they have options for you, many, many different options. Okay. So um, usually the original uh, Black Widow, you got green switches. They're which are like, clacky. Yeah, they're like Cherry MX Blues, if you're familiar You'd with those switches. You'd play games at night. Your grandmama would come up and hit your you with a switch or whatever. You. Yeah. Every, your room, no one wants to live with you. Oh, yeah. That, that happens because I come home late and I fart a lot. But, <laughs> yes, <laughs> we, can, uh, we can also say that that was from my mechanical... <sighs> <laughs> Great, thank you. Great creative <laughs> choice. Uh, back to this keyboard <laughs> review we were doing. Uh, yes, so you have three options of switches now, some more loud than the others. Correct, you also have the Razer oranges and the Razer yellows, which are like uh, cherry brown and cherry red switches, mm. respectively. So you have a bunch of different options now, and that's definitely something Razer was missing earlier, mm. uh, because a lot of the other keyboard manufacturers, um, you can have a, a choice of switches. Not everybody likes the loud clickety-clacking, not everybody wants the tactile I always want to sound like I'm writing an old-timey memo to some, mm, I'll s tell the people in St. Louis about this, <laughs> clackety-clackety-clack-clack-alt. Uh, okay, so you can quiet down the keyboard if you want or if you want a different feel of the switch what else is new about Correct. That, all the personal taste um also they redesigned the keycap the themselves you know, yes. look, look how easy it is you can just stick it right back on there we so, go so nice and, and <gasps> i'm kidding beautiful wow. perfect ah. um they redesigned the look of the front of the keycap so the old razor black widows they looked very gamery they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're really they're through. really loud they're, there was it was big font it kind of was a weird font but now it's much more subtle um, and also, since there's less light, that's what Joey out, enjoys. Subtlety. subtlety. You can tell by the Nothing shirt sticking out, like the shirt and the hair. <laughs> nope, Joey nope, loves nope, a nope. good subtlety. It's a very subtle. Yes. Mm. Uh, so you get more lights coming out from around the keys instead mm. of just through the middle of them. And now that each key is individually backlit, okay. you can really see uh, the full chroma effects to the yeah. best of their abilities. Shiny, pretty. Uh, other stuff that is not new, you got a braided cable that you could literally... Does anyone want to chew on this? Because I don't think... You I, can. You can just... I have a challenge. You could you could bite on this as much as you want, and you are not getting through the thing. This is one of the beefiest braided cables I've ever seen in my entire life. It's really thick. Yeah, also, that's because there's three wires running through it. You have USB to power it. You also have USB routed through, and you have Correct. audio here. And it's USB pass-through. Okay, so, so you're going right through it. You're going right through. You're not worried about your drivers or anything interfering with it. Cool. Also, they give you this awesome cushy mouse mat pillow wrist rest. That you can sleep on. Yes, uh, it is so cushy. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You can use that as a tiny cot. It's the one from their Ornata series. So if you're familiar with that keyboard, it's, it's kind of the same one. If and you're looking great. at it, it says there's no little holes. Where do you put the little tabs in there so it sticks? It's magnets. How do they work? Tell your favorite How do they work? Because it snaps right on there. Super cool, and you can take it off. Bam. Hit your grandma. Get out of my room playing games. Uh, oh, I, this is one of the coolest things I think they added to the keyboard. It's just easy to snap on, snap off. Super comfortable. And it's Made of leather. And uh, yeah, you can hit someone with it. Uh, but other than that, anything new about this bad boy? Uh, th those are the main new features. Okay. Really though, if you want to dive into the software, that is where this thing kind of shines. Because yeah, I, here's the thing. When, when I told Joey about this keyboard, he knew about the Black Widow. I said they made a second one. Uh, mm -hmm. And then he made this, this is a skeptical face. He went, 
<laughs> Why do they need a second one? Yeah, well, it's, it's because uh, the lights really take center focus, and you're going to want super bright lights because you fell in love with the Razer Synapse software, which I knew you were going to because you like shiny things just as much as I I'm, do. I'm like a little bird. I just want to look at the colors like, ooh, look at the best strobe. Um, but really, the, the customization that is available in the software mm. is awesome. You can make different layers, you can create custom effects, and there is an SDK out, so if you're a game developer, people are developing applications directly for the keyboard. Yeah. So if you want to play... Beyond cool, like, little, like, wave patterns and, and cool, like, uh, bursts whenever you touch any of the keys, there is, like, the first time I played, it was at BlizzCon, I played Overwatch with, with the Synapse software, and, like, it will literally, like, it'll, it'll highlight only the keys you need, so it'll be WAS, uh, will be highlight because you need that also the reload button and the ult button will be different colors mm -hmm. and it just kind of sets it up so you know where to place your fingers you know what all the buttons you need to press are and also it changed colors and changed themes with the keyboard and mouse when you switched characters so diva was pink roadhog was orange it was really it made me feel just a little bit more immersed in the game which i really thought was cool yeah there's also great applications from the developers of rocket league and uh, counter-strike mm -hmm. and even games that don't have first party developer developing for it peggle there's the, the, yeah, the community has developed their own really special Peggle one. keyboard. Make a Peggle one! Uh, but you can see all the games that support it here. A lot of cool stuff. And you even said, like, on the, the, the uh, Counter-Strike one, like, the, there'll be your health bar and your yeah, armor yeah, and your, stuff. Yeah, your function key's turned. There's no, yeah. You, you're turned into your health. It'll turn into your ammo. It'll turn into your teammates alive. WASD. It'll be the color of the team you're on. Terrorists yeah. or counter-terrorists. It's, it's great that people are developing custom experiences for the keyboard itself. Absolutely. Well, I think that's super cool. Uh, I... <laughs> I'd make a really dumb show. <laughs> In Russia, only the, ca the terrorist one works. Whenever they're on the computer, just hacking. Uh, well, how we let that one fly? Really. The, there is uh, there is also a built-in equalizer, which I didn't. Did we show that B-roll yet? I can't believe that. They, look at that. Yeah. Look how elite that is. Think about all the weird bedroom raves you can throw with that bad and, boy. And not just that. Like they programmed equalizer. They've also programmed so you can play Snake on the keyboard. What? Yeah. That's a video sure. game on that that is quite literally a gaming keyboard. Yes, the keyboard plays games. Holy moles. That's um, awesome. Uh, but obviously th listen, you've been very positive about this. You've obviously liked this keyboard. Uh, knowing you Joey, you do like complaining about stuff though. I so love I'm complaining sure there's a bunch stuff, of Alex. little uh, just little stupid garbage granulars you, of salt. Yes, that are sticking in your craw and making you upset. Is there anything about this that you wish maybe they fix in V3 or anything that's kind of bothering you? Th there are a couple like like you said small things. Yeah. Uh, there's no routing for this wire, so it's, it's only, a beefy it's wire. only coming it out the back. It comes out where it wants thing, to come out and you're going to deal with it. You deal with the wire. Um, also, this keyboard is like a Christmas tree, right? It just lights up. It's all these different yeah. colors. With the exception of the caps lock and the num lock up here, mm -hmm. you have, when it's on and off, it is, oh, there, oh, nope, nope, there we It's really hard to tell when it's lit up and not lit up. So if you just want to glance over and be like, there you go, pretty. you're blocking the shot. But here's the thing. Those, those are self-explanatory. If, if there is capital letters coming out of your keyboard, no one's going to be like, ah! You don't what's scream, that? oh my god, the caps! There's no else? lights telling me what's happening to my computer. Is this an e-worm or an i-virus? No, your caps lock is on. Just hit the button again. <laughs> but if you, if you want to check and see if the number lock's fact, on. Whenever, whenever I am typing, like whenever I'm typing in caps, I've never looked down to, at my light to see if the caps lock is on. We definitely use keyboards differently then. Yeah. I just don't start willy-nilly typing all over the place. You're like, oh, the caps is on. How nice to know. Well, fair enough. Oh, I can use my numpad. That is a very, that's an insane um, complaint to have. Also, also um, Razer did include five macro keys they place them on the left side of the board yes. um it's weird if you are not used to having keys to the left of somebody of get your shifting joey cap. a drink because he is grasping at straw he, oh. the mag, he's oh. landed the macro keys on the, the left dog. side where else would they be you're gaming over here you want ah, they need to be right there if you understood or played games at all alex you know oh, that you're you're, you're, you're used oh. You're used to muscle memory when you play games. Wait a minute, you're looking at your keyboard so much, look at the fucking macro keys. <laughs> you're not looking at your keyboard at all. Whatever, I'm just saying, these are, these are crazy fine. They're, Maybe very, they be... they're very small complaints. Where would you they, put the they macro They can keys? annoy people. You, I, you've put, you can put them up top successfully. Way easier up there. You could just stretch. I get carpal tunnel just thinking about reaching up there. Whatever. Those are valid concerns if you're an insane person. Uh, overall... 
Here's the thing. It is. It is. I'm going to call it a premium product. Definitely at a is. premium price, 170 bucks. Uh, how do you feel overall? Should people buy this? Is it worth the money? What's the deal? So like you said, it's, it's $170. It's, sure. it's, it's definitely a premium-based product, and that could just outright turn some people off. Um, but it is a really nice mechanical keyboard. Yes. And the best news is really that they didn't raise the price when they released the V2. So this is priced the same as the original Black Widow. Yeah. So um, you're, you're getting just more for free, basically. You're, you're getting more. You're getting the wrist rest. You're getting the option of switches. You're getting the improved design and the better Routing. left, which is, which is great. Mm -hmm. Um, and the Razer Switches, arguably better than the Cherry MX Switches because they are built with gaming in mind. The Cherry Switches were built a long time ago for multi-purposes. You could blast uh, Mountain Dew dust at these bad boys. You, it's not going to bat an eyelash. You can. There, there are a lot of people, um, a lot of players who will swear that they like the Razer, uh, the Razer Key caps better. Yeah. Um, and if the Chroma is that big of a selling point for you, go for it. Because yeah. really, it's only getting cooler as time goes on. Because people are developing more and more applications for it. Mm -hmm. Game developers are working it into their new games from the start to have it do more diverse and so cool things. So buy something that's premium and then it won't break and fall apart. Your, your dumb Amazon basic keyboard is going to explode in three months. Just get one of these and you won't have to worry about it for a year. Or more, probably. 80 million clicks. It's a uh, lot of clicks. I think this is a, an awesome keyboard, but should people buy it, Joey, overall? They should. If, if the money is not the concern for you, this mm -hmm. is a great keyboard that you should definitely look at investing in. If you like the colors alone, you can play with this shit for hours. Yeah, you don't even so need a computer. Just go, like, <laughs> go to the library, plug it in, and just start playing Snake. We were at the Razor with the CS, and we just kind of stared at it. We're like... Whoa. You were on a bunch of drugs. It, just it, club drugs. Yeah, well, we were with Myron. Yeah, there, there was not a thing you didn't huff there. <laughs> uh, but we were staring at this. Overall, it's a yes. It's uh, definitely a yes. It's a yay. That's awesome. Yay! Very much a yay. Uh, thank you, Joy, for the review. I appreciate it. I do think, again, if I could give you any notes, I feel like your complaints were a little bit uh, out there. And I do feel like you didn't focus on what I think is the most important thing, the lights. How, ex how these are, you the can't bright. see them on camera, but they are very intense in real life. And I want to really convey that because um, I played with this keyboard a little bit. One of, the, one of my favorite ones I've used so far. And I want to show off exactly how bright these lights are. So I advise a little bit of a test All everybody right, everybody at home because I always like to add a little bit of objectivity to the things that we recommend on the show. So over here is a 